In this episode of Break Stuff, Learn Something, we're going to be setting up a basic academic workflow in Scrivener. For this, I have started a blank project. I'm first going to go to the draft. By hitting Control in I'm going to create five new documents. Each of these new sections is going to correspond to the basic outline of an essay. Then I'm going to go to the main draft and view them on the corkboard. By double-clicking, I will retitle each one to correspond to the parts of the essay. From there, I will double-click on each index card to add a short description of what each part of the essay should do. This gives me a basic outline to follow for developing my argument. When importing a PDF, make sure that you have the research folder selected. Then go up to File, Import, and Files to open your file browser. Hitting Shift will select multiple files, and then hit Open, and there your files will appear. In addition to the main parts of your essay, you're going to want to add two more files. You're going to want to add one to your draft for your work cited and you're going to want to add one to your research that will be deleted quotes. This will give you a place to put things that might not have fit into your essay but are still valuable content for you to maybe reuse later. One of the neat things about Scrivener is that you can copy from PDFs directly into your files. So here I'm going to highlight this citation, hit Control c and go into my Works Cited and paste it in. Of course, you will have to change the format later to match whatever your citation style is, but this is a good start. The next thing we're going to do is set up our project targets. The next thing we're going to do is set up our project targets. To do this, go up to Project, Project Targets, and then type in the number of words you need your project to be. For mine, I'm choosing 600. This sets your project target and gives you a progress bar for a little more motivation in writing your essay. Most essays require that your work cited is not included in your word count. To do this, we're going to close out the Project Target tab and highlight the work cited in our binder. By going to the inspector and opening that up, you can uncheck Include and Compile and close out the inspector. Once you go back to your project targets, you will see that your word count has changed. Just make sure that when you do go to compile your essay, you go back into the inspector and check that box. Otherwise, your Works Cited will not export with the rest of your pages. To see your targets in progress bar, choose the draft and then the outliner. By clicking on the down arrow, you can add in your progress bar and your target. In order to see your research and the section you are working on, go to the split screen selectors in the corner. You can do vertical, or horizontal. I generally prefer horizontal, but you may have your own preferences. To load your research into one panel, make sure that it is the highlighted panel, and then click on your PDF. That will allow you to see it while you work in the other one. If you don't need to see your research, you can go back to a single screen or even use the full screen mode. Using full screen mode allows you to block out all of the distractions and just focus on your essay. To exit, you can just press escape or go down towards the bottom and the menu will pop up. And that has been how to set up a basic academic workflow in Scrivener.